welcome students today we will be doing a uh, how to make realization account as we have discussed in the last class all the journal entries which were to be done today we will be presenting them in an account format like how realization account is prepared how capital account is prepared how bank account is prepared how many entries come on the debit side on the credit side how do we calculate profit and some important entries and adjustments so let us start with the format of realization account first point when we transfer assets to the realization account entry is realization account debit to asset so it comes on the debit side and then we transfer liabilities it will come on the credit side the entry will be liabilities account debit to realization account because assets are debit so it comes on the debit side liabilities are credit it comes on the credit side now when we realize the asset that is money is coming bank account debit money is coming to realization it's a gain so it comes on the credit side and when we pay the liabilities entry number 4 is there realization account debit to bank account money is going so it is an expense it comes on the debit side you just remember one rule on the debit side all expenses on the credit side all gains so this way it will be very easy now next point is if some partner is taking over the asset the entry will be partner capital account debit to realization account which will come on the credit side and similarly if the liability is paid by the partner it will come on the debit side that is realization account debit to partner capital account now if we are paying the expenses it will be realization account debit to bank money is going out expense is there so it is coming on the debit side if there is any unrecorded asset which is realized unrecorded asset means it is not existing in the balance sheet but still you are getting some money so it's a complete gain for you it comes on the credit side of the realization account that is bank account debit to realization account similarly if any unrecorded liability is paid it's an expense so you have to show it on the debit side that is realization account debit to bank account and in the end there can be profit or loss we are positive people so we take it into account that there is a profit so profit will come on debit side because if the credit side is more debit side is less profit will come on the debit side and it will be transferred to partners capital account and the entry will be realization account debit to partners capital account after preparing the realization account the next step will be to prepare the capital account as we had already discussed in admission retirement and death so there is no need to do it again i hope all of you know on the capital account credit side all the income and gains are there and on the capital account debit side drawings interest and drawings and losses are there so that is very easy so let's move on and finally we have to prepare the cash account which will tally in the end on the debit side all the money which is received and on the credit side all the money which is paid and if the business is coming to an end the cash account must tally in the end as you know everything is over now now before moving on to the questions let us discuss some very important adjustments adjustment number 1 when a creditor accepts an asset in settlement of his account suppose we have to pay something to a particular person and we ask him to take a asset now what happens there are two cases case number 1 when he accept the asset in full and final settlement of account no journal entry is required because creditor is taking the asset now asset will not be realized and creditor will not be paid so there is no need of doing any journal entry but when he accepts an asset in part settlement of his account then there can be two points first if still something is due to him 
then we have to pay him. And if asset value is more than what is due to him, then he will pay to us. Let us take an example. Creditor is 10,000 and we are giving him an asset whose value is 15,000. Then what happens? He will give the money to us, 5,000 rupees and that will be bank account debit to realization account. But in the opposite case, if we are paying to him, then realization account debit to bank because now it is an expense for the business and it will be shown on the debit side. Is it clear? If we are paying, it is an expense. If we are receiving, it is an income. Income comes on the credit side and expense come on the debit side. Another important adjustment is when any asset is given along with a provision or reserve on the liability side, then both are transferred to realization account. To take an example, if joint life policy as an asset appear in the balance sheet asset side and joint life policy reserve appear on the liability side, both will be transferred to realization account, asset on the debit side and reserve on the liability side that is credit side. Next point, if investment is given along with investment fluctuation fund. So, investment will come on the realization debit side and investment fluctuation fund will come on the realization credit side. And similarly, if debtors is given along with provision for bad debt, same treatment extended debtors will come on the realization debit side and provision for doubtful debt will come on the credit side of realization. Another important adjustment is if joint life policy appears in the balance sheet and joint life policy reserve also appear on the liability side and JLP is surrendered, surrendered means given back to the insurance company and some cash is obtained, money is coming. So, now how will we show it? We will show it in the following manner. First of all, debit side of realization account will have joint life policy, credit side of realization account will have joint life policy reserve as discussed previously and whatever money we are receiving that will again come on the credit side that is bank account debit to realization account with the amount received from the surrender of money. Another important adjustment which many time come in the exam is how do we settle the partner loan on dissolution that is partner capital is also there and partner has given a loan to the firm also. Now, how do we tackle this situation? Let us take one by one. First case is if the partner capital has credit balance and loan is also on the liability side that is credit balance. Now, what will we do is we will pay the loan back to the partner and that is entry will be partner loan account debit to bank and a situation can be if the partner capital has a debit balance. Now, in this there are two cases debit balance is more than the loan, debit balance is less than the loan. Now, what happens? Point number 1, if debit balance is more than the loan, then we will transfer the loan to the capital account. The entry will be partner loan account debit to partner capital account and if the debit balance is less than the amount of loan then we will pay the excess amount of loan to that partner. How? Let us see the entry partner loan account debit to partner capital account and whatever balance is there paid off to bank account. It means if partner loan is 20,000, partner capital debit is 16,000. So, we will pay only 4,000 to him because 16,000 is adjusted in the partner loan account. Let us understand these adjustments by an example. Case number A, if partner credit balance of capital is 50,000 
and partner loan credit is 40,000, then what we have to do is we have to pay him off. The entry will be partner loan account debit 40,000 to bank account. Next case is when a partner capital has a debit balance and that to more than the loan that is 70,000 and partner loan credit is only 40,000. Now, we will transfer this loan to his capital account and the entry will be partner loan account debit 40,000 to partner capital account 40,000. In the next case, if the partner capital debit balance is less than the partner loan credit balance, then what happens? We have to pay back the extra loan and that is 10,000. The entry will be partner loan account debit 40,000 to partner capital account 30,000 to bank account 10,000. Sometime we are not given balance sheet in the questions. Instead of that, we are given some ledger balances. Then what we have to do is, first of all we have to make the balance sheet and then proceed on. This is known as a memorandum balance sheet. Memorandum means on and off basis, we will be making the balance sheet so as to proceed with the question. This is given like this. When we are not given the balance sheet, then first we have to make the balance sheet with the available balances and then proceed in the same way as discussed above. So, what we have learned today is how to make realization account, various entries to be done in that on the debit side, on the credit side, how do we arrive at the profit, what are the various important adjustments to be done in the accounts and how do we finalize the capital account after distributing profits, losses and all that and we pay back to the partners and finally, when we tally the bank account in the end, everything is finished and the business is over now. Thank you.